to go and uh, show you all the chords. The, the cool thing about this song is each chord that I'm going to go through, I'm going to teach it to you in the progression of the song. Each chord lasts one measure, which means one, two, three, four. So every chord changes for that, except for just the last little turnaround before the whole progression starts over again. And um, it's just the same thing over and over, so it's really fun. Um, and not too bad. But there's a couple jazz chords in there. So the first chord is called a B minor 7. The root, I'm going to put my middle finger on the 7th fret, and then I bar my ring finger across the D, G, B, and high E, and the A string's muted. So that's a pretty strange chord if you've never played it before. So you could also do it where you take a regular bar, minor bar chord with the root on the 7th fret of the E, and just take your pinky off and you get a B minor 7 that way. Okay, so that's the first chord. The next chord is right next door, the root's on the 7th fret of the A string, and it's an A minor 7 looking shape, but that root is E, so we call this E minor 7. So we have, so far we have B minor 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, to E minor 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then the next chord we're going to play has the root on the 5th fret of the E string, and this is going to be, we're going to play it as A7, an A7 bar chord. Hopefully you know that already. It's going to be on those DVDs, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and then followed by another next door. So that's another part that happens in jazz a lot, that that's called the circle of fourths, but um, also there's, you know, there's little things that happen over and over, and, and it's really good to, to recognize them. So, so far we have B minor, B minor 7, to E minor 7, to A7, and now a new chord which is called D major 7. And what you do, it's, you know, Chili Peppers use it in Under the Bridge. Um, what we do is the root's on the 5th fret of the A string, and it's barred. And then basically what I do is I have my ring finger on the 7th fret of the D string, middle finger on the 6th fret of the G, and then pinky on the seventh fret of the B. And it's barred. So that's a D major seven chord, all right? Really good chord to know. Then another part of the circle of fourths, um, which basically just means like different, you know, different chords are passing through this pattern. So the next chord is a G major seven chord, which index finger on the third fret, which is a, a G note, we put that there. Then middle finger is actually, I mean, this is just how I voice, you know, I'm helping you try and voice the chord here. The middle finger is going to be on the same fret, the third fret, but the B string. Like that. Then ring finger is on the fourth fret of the D string. And then pinky is on the fourth fret of the G string. So this little shape here actually looks like, you know, kind of like an A minor shape. And then, but the root is on the E string, the same fret as the middle finger. So that's called G major 7. So let's go through all the chords up to that. B minor 7, to E minor 7, to A7, to this new one D major 7, just like that. Next chord, G major 7 like that. So yeah, 